हेलो एंड नमस्कार आई अनुदिवान वेलकम यू टू लाइव इंटरक्टिव सेशन एंड यू आर वॉचिंग ई विद्या चैनल नंबर नाइन इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी मैथ्स एंड आर सब्जेक्ट एक्सपर्ट इज हेयर विद अस ऑन द ऑनलाइन आई वेलकम मैम हेलो मैम वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून बीना प्रकाश मैम गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल माई लर्नर्स मैम इज पी जी टी मैथमेटिक्स फ्रॉम कैंपियन स्कूल भोपाल एंड द सेशन फॉर टूडे इज नंबर सिस्टम सेवन स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरीज कॉल अस डबल एट डबल जीरो डबल फोर जीरो डबल फाइव नाइन और ई मेल अस योर क्वेरीज ऑन डी टी एच डॉट क्लास नाइन एट सी आई टी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट इन सो मैम द चैप्ट लेट्स बिगिन विद चैप्टर नंबर सिस्टम सेवन पार्ट सेवन मैम लेट्स बिगिन विद इट how we define a real number how we have two types of number finally that is rational and irrational and they are known as a set of real numbers we discussed many things how it can be represented in the decimal form by how rational numbers can be represented in decimal form irrationals they cannot be so we discussed all those things now we move on to the next one that is operations on real numbers operations means addition subtraction multiplication and division to start with some one difference i've taken both of two rational numbers now suppose you have two rational numbers now rational numbers means you can have the two numbers as two and the other one can be one on three so what will the resultant of this be the resultant of this that is equal to this will come out to be seven on three this is a rational number this happens to be a rational number fine now likewise you take up another rational number minus 1 on 3 plus 1 upon 5 so what we have this as it comes out to be minus 5 plus 3 on 15 that's how we take up the addition of the two it's minus 2 on 15 which is again a rational number so what we find is when two rational numbers are added or subtracted the resultant will always be a rational number its resultant will always be a rational number likewise let us take up the product of the two rational numbers we take a product like you are multiplying i'll take up the same definition uh, example 2 multiplied by 1 upon 3 that comes out to be 2 on 3 fine minus 1 on 3 multiplied by 1 on 5 that comes out to be minus 1 upon 15 so all these are still they are all rational numbers they are all rational numbers now take a quotient of two rational numbers that is 2 divided by 1 on 3 2 divided by 1 on 3 is actually 2 multiplied by 3 on 1 which is equal to 6 which is also a rational number the next next number that we have is minus 1 upon 3 divided by 1 upon 5 so this comes out to be minus 1 upon 3 multiplied by 5 which is nothing but minus 5 on 3 this is again a rational number so what is the conclusion the conclusion is the resultant will always be a rational number so when you add two rational numbers subtract two rational numbers multiply two rational numbers the resultant will always be a rational number so now move on to the next now we take a difference between sum and difference of two irrational numbers when two irrational numbers are added i have taken up the example root 3 plus root 2 now reminder root 3 says it's an irrational number irrational number means it has another form which is a decimal representation but that decimal representation is such that it does not terminate nor repeats so in that case what we find is it is not easy to add we cannot add this so we keep this as such this is the op this we don't have any option we can keep the answer this way so the addition of this remains in this form that is root 3 plus root 2 likewise root 3 minus root 2 root 3 minus root 2 a same definition root 3 irrational root 2 irrational both numbers on expressing in terms of decimals we have a non terminating non recurring decimal hence its addition subtraction will not be possible so this will be the format of the answer fine so that's first question 
that's the second question and in the third question we find that there are two numbers one number is 2 plus root 3 and the other number is root 3 so it is a di difference between two numbers 2 plus root 3 is an irrational number root 3 is another irrational number so when the two gets added up we find that the resultant of it is nothing but 2 we can simplify it we get the simplified form as 2 fine next one fourth one when the two are added there is a simplification that, that we see because these are two different irrational numbers on adding them we get 3 we get 3 fine so what we find what is the conclusion when we added two irrational numbers when we added two irrational numbers or took the difference of the two irrational numbers we find that Sometimes the resultant is irrational. This is an irrational number. This is a rational number. So what we find as its conclusion? We have a conclusion that the difference or sum of two rational numbers, I put a bracket, it is incomplete. So what will it be? The sum, of, sum or difference of two irrational numbers, as we see from this examples, it is not necessarily a rational or a irrational. So it can be rational as well as rational or irrational. It's or. You cannot say that it is one particular type of number. It can be both. So we cannot have a conclusion that it will always be a rational or a irrational. Fine. Now when you take up the product of the two rational numbers. There what you find, when we have the product of the two rational numbers, see, again, when we added the two rational numbers, root 3 gets multiplied by root 3. So this is nothing but 2 multiplied by 3. Root 3 and root 3 gives us 3. So the answer to it is 6. Now the multiplication of this, this is an irrational number, root 3 is one irrational number, 1 minus 2 root 5 is another irrational. So when we multiply the two, what we get its answer is root 3 is to be multiplied by each term that's there in this bracket. The first is a rational number 1. So root 3 gets multiplied to 1, we get root 3 minus root 3 gets multiplied to 2 root 5. So that comes out to be minus of 2 multiplied by root 3 multiplied by root 15, which can be, uh, sorry, root 5, which can be simplified as root 3 minus 2 root 15. So what is this number? This is a irrational number. The previous number was rational number. We are finding that we are coming across the same type of situation. We come across the same situation. That is product of two rational numbers. We find that it is again maybe a rational or a irrational. So let's take up these two irrational numbers multiplication. So that means we have to split this first bracket. Each term of first bracket will be multiplied by every term of the second bracket. So first thing that we see is 2 and 2 gets multiplied. We get it as 4. Then 2 and root 2, root 5 gets multiplied. We get 2 root 5. And then 2 root 3 gets multiplied to 2. That is 2 root 3. And finally minus root 5. 15, root 15. So we have no other option we have to keep it in this form because that's the only format we have. We don't express it in any other form. Irrational numbers can be expressed in this form, a third form or a decimal form. Decimal form, when you write, it will be a non-terminating, non-recurring. So we prefer to keep it in this format. So, but rational numbers, you can express in the decimal, you can express in a fraction, everything. But here it is not. So we have no choice other than to leave the answer in this form. So, Anuji, is it getting clear? Now, let's see the product of this. When you see the product of this, this seems to be, we have a formula here. Look at this expression. It is in the form of A plus B and A minus B. So, which comes out to be A square minus B square. As we multiplied in the third question, we don't need to multiply here. We can straight away apply this formula and write the answer as we have the answer as 2 square and then you have root 5 square, root 5 square. 2 square comes out to be 4 and root 
phi square comes out to be minus phi. So the answer to this is minus one. So phi, we find that this is a rational number. This is a rational number. All this gave us irrational numbers. These two gave us irrational number. This final this is again minus three, which is a rational number. So we find that when two rational numbers are multiplied, we get the resultant as a rational number or a irrational number. When did we get the rational number as its answer? When we have a multiplication of the numbers of the type a plus b, a minus b. Fine. So whenever we come across this type of product, we find that the answer comes out to be a rational expression. This is a, in particular case that is rational expression. Fine. Now let's take up the next question. The next question is <clears throat> the next one we have is two on root three. Now look at this particular number two on root three. Two on root three. This particular number actually we don't ex. Like whenever we write any number, we prefer to keep that number in particular format. So two upon root three, it's a form of a fraction. So whenever we have a fraction, we prefer to have the denominator part as a rational number. That's what you need to understand. Whenever we take up any fraction, we prefer. We prefer that is. For certain cases, we avoid irrational numbers in the denominator. So the question is, how do we convert this in that form? That is the better form. How is this converted to a better form? That is, I want to have the denominator in the form of a rational number. So what did I see here? When I multiplied root 3 with the root 3, the resultant comes out to be 3, which is a rational number. So same process is to be applied. So what is it to be multiplied by? You have to multiply by root 3. And in mathematics, you know that, but especially in arithmetic, whenever you introduce any number in that expression, you have to be very careful that you don't change its value. I have introduced root 3 in the denominator. Hasn't it changed the original expression's value? It will definitely change. So what you do is you have to take its counter operation. That is, you are multiplied in the denominator. Same thing you have to multiply in the numerator also. So when the two numerators are multiplied, this root 3 is multiplied to numerator and denominator. What we find? It is nothing but 1. So we have the answer as 2 root 3 upon 3. So this is the preferred form. Whenever we write any fraction, this is how we write. Fine. So same thing you can see in this next example also. This is the next example. So I want to make the denominator a rational number. So how do I write? I will multiply it by root 3. So when you multiply it by root 3, it has to be multiplied by its numerator also. So let us go in for the numerator's multiplication. What we get is 2 root 3 minus root 3 and root 3 gives us root 3 denominator upon 3. Now, again, as I said, we do not further take up this because root 3 is here also. We keep it in this form because root 3 is it can be expressed in decimal form. And that form is that is decimal with a non-terminating, non-recurring decimal. So it is a avoid. We should avoid such forms. We always write the answer. This is the answer in this form. Fine. So this is for this expression. Now, what about this expression? 2 upon 2 minus root 3. 2 minus root 3. We have to convert this quantity into a real number. So, how can it be converted? As we have seen one previous example, if you have a, a plus b type of expression and you multiply it by a minus b, we get the resultant as square of a and square of b. Isn't it? So we wanted to have a square of root 3. For that, what is required is a term like this, that is a plus. Here we have a minus b. So what will be required? We require a plus b. It is a plus b. Again, it has to be taken up in the numerator also because you cannot 
change the value of the expression so now the expression comes out to be 2 plus root 3 multiplied to 2 upon now what do we have in the denominator it's a square a square is 4 minus root 3 square is 3 so fortunately the denominator of this is 1 so this becomes 4 plus 2 root 3 upon 1 but it is still a irrational number divided by 1 it is still a irrational number because we have 4 plus 2 root 3 fine so this is a way of converting a denominator into a rational number so what is it said to be it is multiplication by the conjugate multiply by conjugate what is this word conjugate conjugate means if you have a term of a minus b then its conjugate will be a plus b if you have the term of a plus b then its conjugate will be a minus b so whatever be the expression you can always go it for by multiplying by its conjugate fine now this one we have to focus on the simplification of the denominator so what will its conjugate be 4 plus root 3 so we multiply divide by 4 plus root 3 in both numerator and denominator and see what we get in the numerator it is a multiplication of 2 plus root 5 with 4 plus root 3 and the denominator comes out to be 16 minus root 3 square that is 3 so the final answer now final answer now look at this expression so when you see this expression you are aware ki aap jab expand karoge to aapko dikh raha hai ki ye jo expansion hai it will be that is you will split it in different forms and that split form will be continued as such like here it is 2 root 3 aur ye ho jayega 4 root 5 and then the next is root 15 sik itna lamba expression ban jayega divided by 13 fine but ये जो expression है इतना लंबा लिखने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है so we can always avoid writing this that is you can avoid that multiplication we can keep it in that form self so that we have the answer as nothing but 2 plus root 5 multiplied by 4 plus root 3 upon a 30 that's all so instead of going for this you can always keep this as the answer so is this part clear how we take up the simplification fine that is the operations that we are discussing. Now let us take up some questions. Now the first question that you find here. State true or false. Sum or difference of two rational number. Sum or difference of two rational number. What is it? It is irrational. Isn't it a false statement? Isn't it a false statement? It is two rational numbers. We started with that only. You take up any numbers in the form. That is when we are two rational numbers. We have two rational numbers. 2 plus 3. 1 upon 3 minus 1 upon 5. All this comes out to be rational. So this statement is a false statement. Right? Likewise, the next question. The sum or difference of two irrational number is irrational. It's rational. Sum or difference of two irrational number is rational so this statement says that it is always is it always we have the example we have taken up the example 2 plus root 3 and 5 when the two are added what do we get 7 plus root 3 it is not a rational number so this is also a false statement fine now we move on to the next statement the next statement is the sum or difference of rational number and an irrational number. It is difference of rational and irrational will be irrational. Rational, go for any example. Rational, it is 2. Irrational, it is 3. So when the two are added, the resultant is a irrational number. The difference they look 2 is ke jaga pe aap minus lik dije. 2 minus root 3, a irrational. So, this statement is a true statement. Okay? 
similarly the product or quotient of non zero rational with the rational is rational now quotient non zero matlab division divided by zero nahi hota hai division by zero is not defined so we have it as product so its product between two rational numbers will always be a rational number fine ye sab textbook ke questions hai ye aap logo ko aana chahiye the product of non zero rational number with a rational number is a irrational number it's a rational number that means aapko do irrational numbers diye hain and ye dusra irrational number hai root 5 iska answer we have taken up it is root 15 so we do not have it as rational so this is also a false statement fine now next question is हमारे पास समय बहुत कम बचा है लेकिन हमारे पास चैप्टर बहुत बड़ा है तो हम अगले सत्र में इस चैप्टर को जरूर कंटिन्यू करेंगे आज हमारे पास समय कम था लेकिन बच्चों जितना भी मैम ने पढ़ाया इसको आप अगर प्रैक्टिस करेंगे तो आपके डाउट्स भी क्लियर होंगे एंड मैथ्स में कहते हैं प्रैक्टिस मेक्स अ मैन परफेक्ट तो ज़रूर प्रैक्टिस कीजिएगा और अगर आपके पास कोई भी क्वेरीज हो तो आप हमें ई कर सकते हैं अपनी क्वेरीज डी पर तो मैम आज का सेशन हम यहीं पे समाप्त करते हैं आज के सेशन के लिए बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया लेकिन बच्चों आप कहीं मत जाइएगा हम अपने नए सेशन में आपके साथ हाजिर होंगे हमारा अगला सत्र है ज्योग्राफी पर लेकिन इससे पहले एक अनाउंसमेंट आप सभी को बता दिया जाए कि एन सी आर टी टेक्स बुक्स फॉर नेक्स्ट सेशन आर अवेलेबल थ्रू आउट द कंट्री एंड आर अवेलेबल एट एन सी आर टी सेल्स काउंटर इन डेली गुवाहाटी अहमदाबाद कोलकाता एंड न्यू डेली यू कैन परचेज दम फ्रॉम द काउंटर एंड यू मे ऑल्सो प्लेस ऑर्डर ऑनलाइन फ्रॉम एन सी आर टी वेबसाइट द वेबसाइट इज एन सी ई आर टी बुक्स डॉट एन सी ई आर टी डॉट जी ओ वी डॉट इन एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट द सॉफ्ट कॉपी ऑफ दिस बुक्स यू कैन डाउनलोड द पी डी एफ फ्रॉम दीक्षा ई पाठशाला एंड एन सी ई आर टी वेबसाइट फॉर फर्दर डिटेल्स ऑफ द ऑथराइज वेंटर ऑथराइज वेंडर्स यू कैन विजिट द वेबसाइट एन सी आर टी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट इन थैंक यू फॉर द सेशन We will write back after the break.